Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Clifford Payne Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're working in St. Pete, Florida. We're here for a wooden fence cleaning. We're gonna do the whole restoration, uh, like you guys see me do, uh, do before. We're gonna try to do two jobs out here in St. Pete, because I have that commercial contract. They have a compactor out here in St. Pete that I gotta do anyway, so after this job here, we might go over here and knock it, knock it out if we can. Um, this customer saw my video online and called me out to get this fence cleaned up, so. You know, we're gonna shock the world. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But let's, let's go check the job out. So this is the fence here. It's an old wooden fence. Pretty weathered, but you know, we're gonna make it look 10 times better than this. It's wide open, there's no trees around, so. Uh, no obstacles and stuff like that so that's gonna make it easy for me to get this job done oh they got my hoses laid out my software system only has 200 feet of hose so what i'm gonna do is uh when i'm ready to add my chemical i'm gonna do like 50 feet this way and then i'm gonna wrap around back to the side of the other side because this gate doesn't open I got 250 feet on my high pressure line, so I'm able to reach. So this is perfect. As you guys know, before I start, I wet down the fence first, wet it down real good, then I come back and um, hit it with a 3% mix of uh, SH and surfactant, a little bit of surfactant just to make it stick. And then I follow that with a white tip rinse. And after that, I follow it up with a oxalic acid mix the oxalic acid um, concentration is uh, one pound per gallon or 16 ounces per gallon, whichever you want to call it. And I'll follow that again with another rinse, final rinse. So yes, sir, we're going to get this fence wet up first. And, uh, you know, you guys just follow along. Enjoy the video. Good rinse over here, uh, free rinse I should call it. It just helps um, when you put your SH on there, it absorbs better for me. Um, you know, you wanna hit it first thing in the morning while the wood is dry with SH. So that's why I wet it down first. So I feel like this, this, this method right here works better for me. Okay, we just got done wetting the fence down. Took about 10 minutes, make sure it's nice and soaked. Now we're gonna apply our SH mix. Like I say I gotta do 50 feet from this backside first. Just do this section from here. Yep, I just do this section all the way to the fence. Put a nice layer on there. Takes away that top layer of the algae. I'm 
by the time we come back to the top of this um you can see a little improvement i'll show you guys when i get back after i get done spraying this whole side and that's before rinsing it it's just an allergy reacting to the uh to the mix Throw that up, up top so we can push it back the other way. Let's go check out the side where we started spraying. And you can already see the difference. It's lighting up a whole lot from this to that. So we just let that soak in, um, apply the chemical for the rest over here, and then um, come back, give it a rinse. Okay, so all the fence is treated on the inside. I wanna do the outside when I leave, or not leave, but when I get done with the inside. Uh, I'm gonna start on this back end first because the sun is like beaming on it. It's drying faster compared to these. It's shaded. You can see they're much darker than that one right there. So um, I'm gonna start doing that from this corner, work my way up there, and then do this side last. That's the game plan. So we're halfway through the back section. And uh, you can see the difference so far. Looking pretty good. We're gonna continue working. And I'll come back and hit it with an oxalic mix as we're doing this side here. You know, two birds, one stone, man. Let's get it. entire back side section of the wall done or the fence done it's looking much better we're gonna knock out this side here and then uh put the oxalic acid on it guys so we got the rest of this side cleaned up as you can tell I have no marks on none of the boards the reason for that is when you clean fences you got to go the length of the board can't stop in the middle and restart cuz you're gonna that initial burst of the pressure is gonna make a line on the wood so you want to try to stop you know from doing that cuz it's gonna look real crazy at the end cuz it's gonna have you then you had to blend it in and much more headache so i got my oxalic acid made already i had it sitting in the sun oxalic acid um dissolves better in hot water but you can use it in cold water so you know i mixed it i just let it sit out here and warm it up a little bit i'm gonna apply it now <laughs> Ok 
Okay, so we got the oxalic acid now dwelling on it. We're gonna give it about like 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna come back and give it another rinse. Your second rinse, you don't have to be so close to the wood, so aggressive, uh, it's mainly a rinse, but uh, you know, if you see any spots that you missed from the beginning, uh, the first rinse, let's go ahead and hit those. Uh, some of the wood may fur, because you know, it's, it's old wood. So, you know, if you see a little fur, it's no issue, it's just gonna happen. This is an old fence. I'm gonna start on this side here and get this knocked out and um, repeat the process. got done rinsing the oxalic acid off this is what it looks like now we're gonna let it sit and dry and then uh, we'll see the final product when we're done we still gotta do the front side of the gates but this is looking good so far I right, ain't gonna follow the same process of uh, applying the oxalic acid Gonna apply it all over, get it nice and soaked in the wood. This helps it to brighten up. There's some paint right here, it's deep in the wood, so they told me I can just brush wash over it. We're at the front of the house now. We're just gonna knock out these two sides that faces the street. I already wet down the fence. Now I'm applying the SH. Like I say, I'm using a 3% mix on my 12 volt system. That's it, man. Job is done. Everything came out good. Let's check it out. This is the front gates. Still drying up over here, less sun. But this is the side that was really bad earlier. Drying up over here, too. Now, if they want to stain it, they can stain it. Or leave it the way it is, but you can't beat that, man. Look at that. This side is drying out real good. Look at that. Looks like a whole new backyard. All right, guys, we're at the second job for the day. Uh, right now, we're in St. Pete, Florida still. Like I said, I got a, uh, one of those enclosures that I got under contract. This is uh, number two of six that's all, that are ready right now. So since I was on this side of town, I figured I might as well just go ahead and do it. So. This is it here. They did have some trash piled up in front of the dumpster when I got here, but they got a shovel. I picked that up. Um, gonna rake this stuff up. Just like I did the last one. 
and I'm gonna uh, apply the SH and uh, surface clean it. I'm not sure what that is on the wall. You got some open electrical stuff. So I'm not gonna be spraying SH over here. Don't want no fire. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and rake that up right now and uh, continue with the job. Everything is pre-treated. I treated the walls, the enclosure, and the floor. I can see this is all cleaning up good. Thing is thick on this, but it's melting like butter. Got a lot of algae on the wall. It's starting, starting to go away. I'm using a six percent mix on this right now to break everything up. Maybe a seven percent. It's looking better, so I'm gonna let it dwell for a little bit and then I'm gonna give it a good rinse and I'm gonna surface clean the floor. cleaned up the stuff I found I just put it back in here but the floor is all cleaned up the enclosure of the I actually say the compactor is clean cleaned up the walls check out the front clean the entrance pad and all this right here was crusty got it cleaned up nice and sanitized all right guys i appreciate y'all checking the video out if you haven't yet go ahead and subscribe to the channel leave a like so i can get more views on youtube it just helps me helps the uh, algorithm to show my videos to uh, other people so uh all right man that's it i'll see y'all in the next video peace